What is up? And today I'm going to go through how to set up a Notion CRM for your fitness coaching business and how you can kind of use it and why I would suggest using a free tool like Notion opposed to another CRM. When I started coaching uh, right out the bat, I was thinking about tools and apps and how can I automate my workflow and how can I make sure that I am being the most efficient as possible. But the problem is I had no clients. So it was really inefficient for me to spending all this time thinking about the tools when what I really needed to think about was sales and marketing. <laughs> so instead of doing what I did, follow along with this setup and get set up quickly, efficiently, and productive. So as I said, we are going to be using Notion today and I am going to show you how quickly this little uh, lead gen CRM works, but also you can um, you can download this from uh, the link in, in the description below. So I'll leave it, the link in the description below and I'm going to teach you how to use it because even if you have access to it, it may be a little bit confusing and you might not fully get um, different parts of it. So uh, first and foremost, I'm going to go through when you should be using something like this. So if you're doing cold outreach, hell, if you're even doing Facebook ads, then managing your leads is something that you really need to gonna pay attention to, going to need to pay attention to. Because if you're not consistently following up with them or checking in and actually messaging people, you're gonna have no clients. And they always say fortune is in the follow-up, but making sure that you have a good pulse check on everyone who's currently potentially in your pipeline, in your funnel, uh, it's going to put you leaps and bounds ahead of everyone else. So I would be using this if you're consistently doing outreach every day. And if you're an online coach that isn't fully booked, I would suggest that you are doing that as a way for you to grow your business. So let's get into it. So starting off, um, if you haven't already got the um, template, then I would just say, or just follow the link in the bio and it's in my course and it's called lead gen um, or lead pipeline or something like that. So first and foremost, we have a couple of different views here. We have the pipeline view. We have the lead list view. We have the sales call tracker and we have the calendar. I just noticed you could see my audacity there as well. I'm just recording my audio through it. That's all. <laughs> uh, pipeline, lead list, sales call tracker and calendar. So pipeline is going to be a holistic view of where you can see everyone is in your business right now. Lead list is going to be all of those leads in a really neat uh, form and then the sales call tracker is who's actually taken a call and then the calendar is when the actual calls are booked so if we look at pipeline here when you get a positive reply so you've done an outreach message and someone has replied in fact positively to you can click on new and we're going to add one in now so we're going to type a name sandra sully sandra sully and we found sandra on facebook and we can add a link to her profile. So www.facebook.com forward slash Sandra. Cool. Right. And she's in our positive reply. So this implies that you're going back and forth with her on socials and you are trying to get her to either commit to a call or um, agree to some kind of coaching. So let's just open this up again. So let's open in new tab so we can see what that looks like on this full view. So Sandra Sully, we've got a link in here. So it's important to fill out all of this information as well, because if you're consistently following this out, you're more likely to respect that process a little bit more. It's like adhering to a diet. If you do like, if you just weigh yourself, but you don't um, make sure you're in a deficit, you're not going to lose weight. So <laughs> um, making sure that you're going through these steps and filling things out as per needed. So you could say Sandra has two kids wants to get in shape to keep up with them cool and if you go back here you can see we've got sandra and we can open her up at any time now if she says for example that oh you've caught me at a bad time can you message me next tuesday what you would then do is you would move her into follow-up right and you can open her back up in the tab up here. And this is where I would start entering notes based on the day. So today's April uh, 27th, April. Sandra mentioned, mentioned it was a bad time. Call, uh, messaging again. Oh, messaging again in one week, right? And now she's in your follow-up. 
and then she's just going to sit there. And every day you should go through each of your leads and see who is potentially ready for a follow-up and who needs to be called, right? So let's say we uh, call, uh, we message Sandra again in a week's time. And she says, yes, I am really interested. Um, like, how do I move forward? So you say, fantastic. I've got a position available for a consult now, or I have one for 3 p.m. tomorrow. So in this situation, Sandra has been given two options, which is what we always want to do because we don't want people, <laughs> we want to stay clear of the ability of people saying no, right? So instead of saying, do you want to jump on a call? Because a call is scary. We want to assume they're already wanting to jump on the call. And we're going to say, do you want to get on at right now or 3 p.m. tomorrow? So Sandra is going to uh, say 3 p.m. tomorrow. So what you will then go and do is you will go into Sandra and you will edit, <laughs> you'll add in the date of 3 p.m. tomorrow. So remind... Um, you can set up a reminder of the day of the event and we're going to include time and we're going to set the time for 3 p.m. Right? And press enter and we're good to go. And now she's been moved into booked call. And if we have a look here on our calendar, we will see Sandra Sully for 3 p.m. tomorrow. So you can have a holistic view of your day on the calendar and see what your... Uh, See what you, is in store for you, right? Cool. And then on lead list here, we've got booked call. We can see all of our information through that, right? Now, if we go into lead list, she's booked call, which is great. Fantastic. Sandra. <laughs> Sandra jumps on the call with you 3 p.m. tomorrow. And she thinks you're fantastic and she wants to sign up with you and she wants to get started. So you say, fantastic, let us get you started. Now, what you can do from here is move her across the closed. And in, in this, again, you can customize this to, to whatever you want, right? So if you add in properties here, you say that you have a checkbox, right? Um, training program, right? And then add another property meal plan and we'll change this to a uh, checkbox as well there's checkbox checkbox cool that was painful and we will then put that here and we'll add another one uh, communication cool so thinking like um didn't even add communication. I mean, like downloading WhatsApp um, to communicate with your clients. Communication. God. All right, cool. And then we'll do checkbox as well. Great. So now, once you've gone into closed, you can then send uh, a payment link. So if you take payment on the phone, which I suggest you probably should do, uh, you could then send a payment link through, or you could just. Um, send her an invoice, right? So if you have an invoice, you could even add in another one here, invoice and check them off as you go. So if you then had Sandra Sally and you get the confirmation from your bank that she's paid, you move her into paid and then you go through these steps of training program, meal plan, communication and you get ready to have her fully onboarded, right? So this is so simple. It's so simple, but it's so um, overcomplicated if you're not at a big scale of clients. So if you're only just like that, like even zero to, to 50 clients and or you're building up to, to that number, you shouldn't be spending too much time on your systems or at least like researching it and doing it all yourself. Because if you waste that time that you could be focusing on sales and marketing, the impending doom of you not succeeding as a coach is creeping in. Because like... There are only, there's only one way to get profitable in this business. And that's not by posting content and hoping that it's one day going to kick off, which it, it may do. Like I've definitely seen coaching companies out there who post content and go mega viral and get full books just from, from that. But for most of us, it's going to take just hard work. And that's what a lot of people don't really want to talk about in this industry because they think you just either just turn on ads or you just post some videos and you will get clients. 
Uh, it's not the truth. Uh, a lot of the coaching companies that I speak to that are doing seven figures have systems like this in place. So right now I'm bringing them back to you, scaling them down, making them free so that you can do it and you can get stuck into it. Now, if you want a, again, completely free um, course on how to outreach and how to automate your, your fitness business, um, then to get that uh, template, you were already downloaded as well. So go through that and see if you can implement some of that into your business, but don't get stuck in system submission where you're not <laughs> doing anything because you're focusing on getting the right systems. The right, um, perfect systems will never make up for a shitty business. So just thought you should know. All right, until next time, bye.